coma and just blew through both those reds. <laughs> I was towing that trailer. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Here's another early morning here on Lip Ripping Outdoors for another ice fishing adventure. Got Bree and Fisher with me today. We got a big drive ahead of us. Drive down south a few hours. Try to get ourselves some lake trout and really whatever else bites. So, tag you guys along with us. But first we had to make a little pit stop and get some fuel for the crew. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, made it right here to our destination here in southern Utah. Uh, this is actually Fish Lake. Never ice fishing right here before. Honestly, I have no idea where to go out here. So we're just gonna use the fish finder, try to locate some fish, and hopefully we can get on some lake trout today, and then later this kid wants to catch some perch, so let's get to it. First things first, let's uh, throw some cleats on here so we don't slip like this kid. There, much gooder. Gotta push it down a little. Nice. Let's get a jaw jacker rod and the laker rod. Yeah, Fisher, she knows how to read it. Oh, hold on, there's one chasing me. There's one chasing me. There's one chasing me. Hold on. Oh, dang it. I think he lost sight of it. He's come back. He's come back. Hold on. Hold on. Look at him. Look at him. See him? <laughs> Careful. The ice is slick. No, really? That's why you need some cleats, kid. All right, since Bree keeps marking fish over here, I move parallel with her. Lift up. B it is you. That is you. That line there is you. P C See? It's going back down. That's you. Piano. What? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we oh, bitcha. We bitcha. Get it, Bree. Is that fish around me or is that a fish? That's a fish. That's not you, dude. That's a fish. Oh, he's on. Oh, Bree. You got him. Set again. Oh, oh, shoot. Shoot. She's on. She's on. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> Tip up, yeah. Okay. Easy, don't lose him. Easy, don't horse him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, Laker. Oh my gosh, it's a baby. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's a splake, Bree. It's a char. Oh my gosh, he went to that tube. Yes, he did. Um, it's no, it's got a fork and a tail with red nice. fins. It's a, it's a splake. Oh, cool. Alrighty, so unfortunately, this guy bit off more than he could chew and choked on that tube. So we are going to have to keep him, but these guys should eat up really well. It's my first time actually ever holding a splake. I'll just knock him out here, make sure he's not suffering. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got one, chase me. Got a fish on, no way. I got one on the tube. Let's freaking go, get up the hole. Oh, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. I've been working so hard. Is that my first ever splake, dude? Or is it a Laker? What do we got? Oh, dude, that's gotta be a splake. Dude, I got him. Look at that, guys. <laughs> first fish of the day here for me. Ah, oh, dude, I can't confirm what species it is, though. All right, guys, well, you're gonna have to let me know in the comment section below. I'm wanting to think it's a splake, but you guys might know better. I'm gonna call it a splake for now. Okay guys, um, let's not be the ones who litter with their perch on the ice. Well, this is actually considered littering legally. They didn't leave garbage on the ice, but you're not allowed to leave dead fish on the ice like this. Out of here particularly, they there is no limit on the perch. They want them out of here, but it's still not okay to be leaving dead fish on the ice like that. All right, guys, we're calling it quits out here today with those two fish we caught. Been a very slow day, but don't worry, video's not over yet. We're, we're going to take those two fish home and do a little catch and cook for you. So we'll see you at the house. 
Alrighty guys, back here in the kitchen. The dog is playing with a toy. Um, you know, I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do with these fish, and then my dad got back home from his Lake Pal trip and had some striper ceviche, so that gave me an idea, and we are gonna turn these two splake into some ceviche. And yes, I can confirm they're both splake. What you doing? What you doing? What the? What the? Go get it. Alrighty y'all, here's my splake. Get our nice sharp fillet knife. Nothing really new that you haven't seen before on my channel. Gonna run that along that spine line. I'm actually pretty excited for this. I've uh, never ate splake before, but considering I've had brook trout and lake trout, which is what these guys are crosses of, this should taste awesome. And judging by that meat, I dare say it's gonna be exquisite. Nothing going to waste there. Cut that meat off the skin there. Boneless, skinless filet of splake. Alrighty guys, so what I'm doing next here is I've thoroughly rinsed these fillets here and I'm just going ahead and finding the pin bone line and usually I just use a pair of tweezers and pull these out, but I don't have one handy, so I'm just making a small strip. I'm gonna take it a small strip out with those pin bones in there. Usually uh, these will just cook out if you're just going to cook the fish, but with us doing ceviche, I'm not sure how those would cook out, so I'm just cutting a little bit out. Alrighty y'all, next up I've got one lime, one lemon for now, I've got a few others just in case, but we're going to start with these and just juice them out. Alrighty y'all, went ahead and took our fillets of fish after I thoroughly rinsed them and I uh, cut them up into some pretty generous sized cubes, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to our citrus juice there. Try to get that all submerged there. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and throw that little bowl there of fish goodness in the fridge for uh, 15 to 20 minutes while we prepare our vegetables, and that way it just goes to work uh, cooking that without any heat. Alrighty, also, Bree was kind enough to go and chop up our vegetables for us here. Uh, we've got some onions, some avocado, cucumber, um, some jalapenos cut up and some uh, tomatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and just add those into our big mixer bowl here. Now we got our bowl of fish that I've been cooking in that citric acid. Go ahead and pour that on in there. Now go ahead and just mix this all up. Does not look fresh. And then throw some pepper in there. And some salt. Give it some more mixing. Uh, this is some Tony's Creole seasoning I'm also throwing in there. All right, let's get to eating. All righty, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit in my bowl here. And then, just for fun, uh, this is some homemade avocado sorbet that I made. I'm gonna go ahead and get a scoop of that out of there. Add that on top, and then bam, would you get a load of that? You've got splake ceviche, fresh splake ceviche, and some avocado sorbet. There are the dishes, let's get to digging. Go ahead and get a little scoop full here, make sure we get a little bit of all our veggies, some of that splake, and some of that Alrighty. sorbet. Thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking a word that I can't put on YouTube. <laughs> Dang. Wow. That is really refreshing. Holy yeah. freak, man. Mmm. Holy cow. I love how fresh ceviche is with all your vegetables in there. And it's just super light. It's not oily or anything. Accent that with a little bit of a, some uh, avocado sorbet there. 
Holy cow. Now, you're not getting like the full fish flavor because it's mixed with a bunch of stuff and the citric acid, well, the citrus flavors kind of drown every, drown it out just a little bit, but I definitely wouldn't mind trying to just splake on its own in the future. Alrighty guys, well that is going to wrap up the video here today. Delicious splake ceviche, I keep wanting to call it trout. I mean, technically it is. No, it's also kind of, it's half char. Regardless, tastes awesome. Had a fun time making this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching this video so much. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button down there below. And subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And as always guys, tight lines, and I'll catch you later.